Okay, ma'am. Please uh, give me the name of the police department you have a complaint with. Um, Stockton Police Department. Stockton PD. Okay. Mm -hmm. And give me the date of the incident and then tell me what happened. It was um, on Black Friday. I don't remember what day that was. And um, I was walking out to my car in the mall parking lot. And um, I had driven my dad that day. He came with me, my boyfriend, and my aunt. And my dad is disabled. He has Crohn's disease. So I have a disabled placard on my car. And I was walking out to the car with my boyfriend. We were just going to put some bags in the trunk. When a police officer came up next to me in his car, and he asked for my, um, my license and my disabled placard. When I told him that my placard was on my license plate and I started asking him why he was, um, you know, pursuing me, he called for backup. And then he had held me in the parking lot for at least an hour and a crowd started to gather outside the mall because we were kind of near the entrance. And he was more like announcing to them than saying to me that he was going to arrest me and that um, he's going to tow my car and that he's going to take me downtown to the station. And when when I just tried to ask what I did wrong, um, he had told me to be quiet and go sit next to my car. Now, let me ask, let me just back up. You're, and your disabled dad was with you? Yeah, he's with me, but he's inside the mall. He doesn't have a cell phone. And so he's walking around with my aunt and stuff inside the mall, looking at, and, you know, I have no way to call them. Okay, well, let, let me back up, let me back up. So okay. what, 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 the reason the officer was coming in contact with you was because he thought you were illegally parked? Yeah, and then when I told him, like, I was inside the mall, he said that, you know, that I was, that he didn't believe me and that he was going to arrest me. And he, wait, wait a minute, okay. Um, did you have a placard on the car? It's on, it's on the license plate of the car. So what, what basis was he going to cite you? That's what I was trying to ask him, and then he, that's when he called for backup. And okay, he told wait, me he didn't like my attitude. <clears throat> okay, let me, let me make sure I understand what happened. Because you, you, you sound like you have a very um, solid complaint if what you're telling me is true. So let me make sure I understand this. Mm -hmm. you, were, were you the one driving the car? I am the one driving the car, but I'm the one who drives my dad around. Okay, because he, can't, because, mm -hmm. he, because he can't drive because he's handicapped. Yeah. Okay. And is his handicap something that he's had to register with the Department of Motor Vehicles? He did, which is why um, the vehicles that he, me and my sisters mm -hmm. drive him around in, they all have the plate for him. Okay. And is there is, is the law, you're in California, right? Uh-huh. I'm, I'm assuming that the law is that the car has to have proof of a handicap placard, right? Yeah, and I had that on my license plate, and I had the handicapped person with me. Okay, does it, okay then, and does it matter who's driving if the handicapped person is somewhere in the vicinity? To me, I didn't think so, as long as the handicapped person is with you. That's what I thought that the law was. Yeah, I, I don't but think when it when I went to ask, he told me that I had an attitude. Okay, okay, well, no, first of all, I'm trying to, do, I'm, I'm spending a lot of time on this for one reason. This is your. This is the strongest part of your case, so I don't want to get away from it right now. I know that he ultimately accused you of having an attitude, but right now I want to focus on what right he had to confront you in the first place. And right yeah. now, I don't. I'm a retired uh, detective, and I don't uh, see any reason for him to approach you if the placard was on the car and the car was legally registered. Yeah. Okay, so you're telling me the car was legally registered and you had the placard on the car? Yes. Okay, and the only thing missing was your dad. He wasn't there because he was yes. inside. Okay. Yes. Did you try to explain that to the officer? Yes, and that's when he told me that I had an attitude and he called for backup. <laughs> okay, and did the backup show up quickly? Yes, like not even a minute later. Okay, and how big are you? What's your, what's your size? I am... I'm 5'4", I weigh about 140 pounds. You're 5'4", and 140 pounds. Yeah. Okay. Okay, were you bigger than the officer? No. 
<laughs> okay. And um, did you pose any actual threat to him? I mean, did you shake your fist at him or point your finger at him? No. Or no, I was just kind of like, you know, what's going on? What's the problem? You know, did I do anything wrong? And um, I had an attitude. <laughs> he said you had an attitude. That's what they're telling Yeah. Okay. So and I like my attitude, and when I was just trying to ask to see what 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 I did, um, that he didn't want to answer any of my questions or anything. And what was the officer's name? Um, I he had never given me his name, but I think it's on the ticket. Okay. Do you have the ticket? I do have the ticket. Okay. Let me take it out. And his handwriting was very um. I like hard to read. Mm -hmm. I remember I did put it on the report that I did on the website. Okay, well, don't worry about it. I'll pull that up later. A um, okay. couple more questions. Uh, huh? He 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 wrote you a ticket for what? What was what's on the citation? Um, the ticket was for misuse of a handicap placard. Misuse. After he after he verbally arrested me in front of the crowd and then told them that told me that he was going to give me a break today, he was going to be a good guy, and not tow my car and not bring me into the station. Misuse of a handicap placard. Have you looked, mm -hmm. at, have you looked at that up in the penal code? What's the penal code number or, or, the, or the, uh, the state uh, violation number? Oh, I'm still looking for the ticket. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Yeah, there, there should be some um, ordinance number or something associated with that charge. Oh, here it is. Um, VC four six six one Z. Four six six one Z. C. C. Like C. Cat, C. I think. Okay. Okay. Got it. I'm gonna look that uh, that violation up. Um, and where where was the placard? Is it is it something that's on the hangs from the the uh, windshield, or is it something no, it's that's on, on the, the actual license plate? It's on the plate. Okay. Yeah, which is why he when he he asked me for the placard, and I was like, well, it's on the license plate, like it's visible, it's right there. Because he pulled me up, and I was standing right next to the trunk of my car because I was just dropping off some bags. Okay, so let let me jump ahead to something that you said to me earlier. At some point, he called for backup when you started asking questions. Uh huh. Did it escalate from there? And and if so, tell me what happened. Actually, um, I was just I was sitting next to the guy, and he was just like he. The funny thing is, he kind of like whispers to me because I was getting upset. Um, he was like, "I don't know why he's doing this. I'm going to ask him later on." Okay. And I just kind of kept. I just was like, you know what? There's no working around. I'm just going to be quiet. I was tired. I just wanted to go go home. Then I had a whole crowd watching me. I was so embarrassed. Okay. I'm a little girl with two huge police officers like pounding me. I got it. So from then on, yeah, from then on, I was just quiet. I just sat there, and he was like, and then he like announced to the crowd like he was a hero. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tell your car today. Okay, I got you. I listen. I understand what you went through. It was, it was embarrassing, I'm sure, and it sounds to me as if he behaved inappropriately. I'm sorry. Can you hold one moment? Yeah. Mr. Miller. Yeah, actually, I'm interviewing a client, and I, I, I can call you back. Uh, are you guys okay? Okay. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call you back. You can brief me right after this call. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Okay. I'm sorry, ma'am. Oh, no, that's fine. Okay. Um, let me just – I want to reset my recorder, okay? Just a minute.